someone's help! Where did you get that gear from? Rustplus.com Helping you get the skins you want. Hi guys, welcome back to episode 3 of Man vs Trap. Now this trap was inspired by Moji's Falling Floor Trap, his link's below. Um, Moji's was a manual trap, but this trap is actually automated, so you don't actually have to be in the trap for it to go off. Now we caught a lot of people when we were actually in the base, so we didn't get footage of them getting caught, but we did get footage of people actually getting caught within it. And a couple of clans who knew about the trap, who'd found out about it and wanted to catch their own guys in it just for a laugh. Now it's a lot more expensive than most traps, you will need a landmine for this as well, which means you need a level 2 workbench. So it's something for towards the end of a wipe if you want to try it and have a laugh. But you can also use this technique as your roof. So if someone jumps on your roof, it can actually take the roof down as well. Which I'll maybe show in a later video. Now, it's quite simple, just like Modges, you run into the shop. As I said, you don't have to be online. As you come in, you stand in this tile, a landmine will go off. You have to jump, try and jump back and it'll take you out. Now in here you have shotgun traps just to make sure they're taken out as well. It's extremely simple to set up. Inside the shop's up to you how you do it. We had it set up like this just so we had a box with some stuff for loot that we got. A little furnace just to make it sound as if we were actually inside. A little area so we could defend. Then in here just some stairs and another area here so we could open the door and just shoot down if anyone was in. I'll show you to build it quickly. It's not very hard but if you want an in-depth from how to build this sort of trap check out Moji's actual floor dropping base it will show you exactly how he done it in a manual way so you can actually catch people and troll them instead so for this trap to actually work you need to have a flat area now this is going to be where the shotgun traps were and the actual trap was itself so get three squares down and you're going to want to make sure that you can actually build up a section of foundations quite high now to have it exactly how I had it, it's placed out like this and I staggered up. You see here, if it's going too fast you can slow it down via the clog below. Now the trick is basically having the foundations to make it look as if they're walls. Now, you can see there, I'm not going to build the entire base, I'll just put some walls in so you can tell the difference from the video that I've shown you as well up to there and that there. This is where the cupboard was in here. We had an extra section at the back. Just so it was tucked away from the base, that's all. Um, never use a trap as your actual base. Go down. So that's kind of what you're aiming to get. A little rabbit running if you like in the back. Now just for ease have some stairs at the back as well. Just so you can get up to this section. Now in here we had a window so we could see and just a wall, make sure everything's the right way around or people just pick through. That round and again with a wall here and we put a door frame there. Now this is the main mechanism. This is where your vending machine goes in this door slot here. Then above here you're going to want to put in twig two half walls. The bottom one could be stone because it's going to blow out anyway. I'll just change back to twig. From there you're going to literally put that there and another door, but this door will be stone. Turn it up, turn it the right way and it's done. Now the trick here is to put posts in place. Put a post in in twig like so, then you can take the trap and stick it on top. Now when you put a floor tile on top of this, it is going to cover the trap. Stone it up. Now you can put this in place, stone that up, and that is it. Put whatever you want behind here, build it as you like. I wouldn't do it like for like, so if someone does see this, they'll know straight away. Just use this mechanism and concept. Now I'll show you how it works. Someone runs in, one point to note, we made a mistake. Have roofs above it as well, because people can cheekily jump out when they hear it click. And then have stairs at the back end as well. So when someone runs in now, clicks, go run back, drops them down in that whole section so they're effectively trapped in that section there. 
Now, I'll show you some footage. Some of it's people getting trapped, and I said people, clans who found out about the base actually donated some stuff for us to help us get it up as well because it was quite a costly build. Just to show it does actually physically work. I also put a fail in there from two guys in rad suits who managed to jump out because we didn't have these roof pieces in place. Also, we put a landmine in this section as well. And you only got to hear, hear that click and jump back out. So only put the landmine in this section. Or they will hear the click and it will give them the opportunity to jump out. So only use this side. Do not put one in here, only a shotgun trap. Open the door, Nick. So if you come in. Yeah, Jordan, this is the base I was telling you about. Right, mate. Come in, come in, come in. We'll get some stuff for you just now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, friendo? Hello? 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 Goodbye! Hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I can see him. He's going to it, he's going to it, he's going to it. He's crawling up to it, he's crawling up, he's crawling up, he's crawling up, he's crawling up, he's crawling up. He's got up, he's got up, there's two of them. <laughs> Shafty, his name was. Shafty. Shafty, Shafty. No, Shafty's, he's no, no, quit. They've, they've gone, I'm trying to remember who Shifty plays with. They went on Mustafi, I think. Who's Shafty? Yeah, I'm waiting to do. Oh, someone's had to feed the trap. Oh, we caught someone in the trap. What? Someone there now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it with Oh, he's like a shit ton of bandages. So oh, is that Max? Oh, that's the guy that door caps us. Yeah. He's gonna try and get that AK. There is the shop. That is the way. He's gonna buy it. Didn't even hear it. <laughs> that is the trap. <laughs> so guys, that's the trap. As you can see, it's extremely effective, although it does cost a lot because you need the actual lamine itself. I'd recommend it only if you're probably in a small group because it can be quite a task to get this one built. I'll try and get another trap out at the back end of this week. I'm working on one just now which drops an entire roof, which may actually use a lamine as well. So stay tuned for that. And I also have a base build out in the coming days as well.